everybody my name is Suyash you're watching mind body spirit in today's video we'll be seeing some law of attraction tools and techniques uh, that are not very common they are slightly out of the box you may not be knowing about them already and even if you read many books you read a lot of material about the law of attraction maybe you will not come across these techniques and some of these techniques I have invented some I have found out from other resources and I have personally used many of them and I have had great results with these techniques and that's why I would like to today recommend them to you and as we go along this video I will also be telling you how I have exactly used these techniques in what kind of intentions have I used them and what kind of results I've got from them so what I would recommend you is that you watch this video till the very end it's not necessary that all the techniques that we talk about today you immediately start applying them that's not what I'm saying but you should know all of these tools you should know all of these techniques that are there at your disposal and maybe pick one or two that you can start using them right now and know about the others so that if there is any kind of intention in which that particular technique will be useful you know that technique you are already aware of it and you can start using that at that time and so let's get started the first tool is an action diary now what exactly is an action diary and how I started using it is you know when I was just starting my career I was in a kind of a work that required me to have as many meetings with people as possible and so what I would try to do is I would try to call up as many people as I can and I would uh, you know try to just fix a meeting with them and so my uh, success in that work depended upon how many meetings I was actually able to undertake and so my intention was my goal was to get as many meetings as I can now how do I try to intend that and how do I go about that from a law of attraction point of view because when I visualize that I'm meeting a lot of people how do I visualize exactly that I'm meeting a lot of people and that I'm meeting three people in one day then maybe four people the next day then three people the next day then two people the next day so like that how do I visualize that every day this is happening that was a big question for me so what I started doing I started using this action diary and what exactly an action diary is that whatever you do you start writing about that in a diary now of course many of you may already have such a diary right so many of you may already have a record of whatever work you do you write about that there but if you don't have it make it and what I did was that I made an action diary and I started writing about all the meetings that I took in that diary and then instead of trying to visualize that I'm having more and more meetings and trying to visualize the meetings itself what I did was I visualized and I intended for that action diary to be full I used to write details of the meeting in blue and then after the meeting I used to write remarks in red and I gave them a point also that five if it's five then it was just a wonderful fruitful meeting if it was one it was a really bad waste of time meeting right and so I used to do that and so when I visualized instead of trying to visualize that I'm having a very good meeting every time which is really weird how do you visualize that uh, for you know for today and then the next day and then the next day it's very difficult what I started doing was I visualized that my diary is full plus the remarks in red is really five star remarks and I'm writing oh it was a wonderful meeting really happy stuff like that you know so instead of doing that I did this and this tool really helped me because even though when I started out that diary was not full but I intended for it to be full and in no time you know in within a week or so in my reality the visualization what I was visualizing what I was intending that actually happened and that diary started becoming more and more full and with time it was something that it was completely full and really the red color remarks were all mostly positive so this technique really helped me a lot so make an action diary whatever work you are doing uh, maybe it will be difficult for you to visualize and to intend for you succeeding in that work again and again day after day but if you can simply record that and you work on that record then that record will improve and for that record to improve for that intention of yours to manifest that that record is improving obviously your reality so your work will automatically have to improve and so this is sort of a workaround in this situation I recommend you to try it now because we are talking about diaries and records I would just like to mention this I have already talked about this before so won't really take much time about it but there are gratitude journals and other kinds of journals that you can use now gratitude journal is so mainstream at this point anybody that learns about the law of attraction you read a couple of articles about the law of attraction you will definitely read about the gratitude journal it is so mainstream and we are looking for some out of the box you know techniques like we are talking about in this video that we ignore the mainstream things but you know all the out of the box techniques are fine you know but the gratitude journal is definitely extremely positive and so what you do is you take a journal you take a beautiful notebook something that you would enjoy writing in and you write things that you are grateful for and when you start doing this 
you will have a hard time feeling gratitude and this actually i think uh, i mentioned in yesterday's or day before yesterday's uh, success story video as well somebody had written that you know when i started feeling and when i started applying gratitude i could not feel it uh, logically i knew that i should be grateful about this but i was not able to actually invoke the feeling of gratitude right so when you start using a gratitude journal this is what will happen in the beginning you may not be able to feel grateful but gratitude is a practice you know as you start doing that as you keep doing that you will keep becoming better and better at it and in no time you will see that you have become a much more grateful person so take a separate notebook start writing about all the things that you are grateful for spend maybe 10 minutes every day you don't need to be if you're busy you don't need to spend a lot of time doing that but just spend 10 minutes it can even be on your laptop or your cell phone you know just write down all the things that you're grateful for and please do it consistently you know let it be an actual journal where you write every day for it to be really effective for you right now since we are talking about records another kind of record can be all your manifestations all your successes with the law of attraction right uh, i have talked about it so many times so i'm not going to bore you again but when you do that you dwell upon your success with the law of attraction and so your mind is reminded that your thoughts are really powerful and that your uh, your thoughts are manifesting and so this intention that my thoughts are powerful and they are manifesting this intention gets a lot of power and thereby all your other intentions are easily and quickly manifested now this other technique is something that i absolutely love and uh, it is called a law of attraction check okay so we have checks you know the bank checks you can actually write out a check to yourself so you know you can just take a check out of your checkbook and instead of there being your name just stick a paper on it and write the universe god lord almighty whatever you know whatever you have faith in just write that down and make that check out to yourself so write your own name i would probably write there suyash and then you write the amount that you would like to manifest okay so maybe 1 million dollars you write that there it should be believable for you okay belief is a big part of the law of attraction right so you it has to be believable if 1 million dollars is not believable for you go for a smaller amount at this point when you manifest that go for a million dollars you know the world is open for you but at the beginning start with something that you can believe put that amount there and stick that check somewhere very prominent and you know every time you look at that you know that okay this has been this check has been made out to me the universe is actually bringing in this amount in my life and what it will do is it will first of all remind you of your goal again and again and so you are reminded that okay this is my goal this is what i'm manifesting so maybe if you're feeling lazy if you're feeling unenthusiastic or something like that because you saw that you will start feeling energetic again but also what it will do is it will remind you that yes you know be a little crazy you know don't be too logical i am absolutely crazy when i go about applying law of attraction i forget all logic i forget about being a sane you know very logical kind of a person i forget about all of that i just go crazy right so okay this check has been made out to me oh then definitely this money has to come to me and so when i crazily start thinking in this fashion it actually happens where if i was very logical oh, but how is it going to happen is just a fake check you know i made it then you know i would not be able to manifest that so would you like to be rich or would you like to be logical that you have to decide i choose to be rich and crazy that's perfectly fine for me now another technique that i really like is if you are trying to manifest something that involves you receiving a letter from some place so i have many viewers that are trying to maybe manifest a new job or maybe admission into their dream college or something like that you know anything that would entail you receiving a letter from that particular organization or maybe an email from that organization now what i want you to do is create a fake letter now this is a good technique but i have to give you this disclaimer that it can also be if you are going to upload it on the internet if you are going to show it to a lot of people then it also amounts to fraud okay so let's not do fraud this is just for your own eyes okay so we are going to be making a fake letter but we are not going to show it to anybody it is only for you only for you so that it can help you apply the law of attraction and that's all okay so let's be very clear about that now what you can do is for example let's say i am actually trying to manifest a job with uh, with any company you know xyz company okay what i can do is i can go on the internet find xyz company's logo and you know just make uh, on ms word or something you know any word processing software i can paste that logo i can make a letter head and i can actually write down a letter to myself that dear suyash congratulations you have been shortlisted and this and that so i can make an entire letter and i can just print it out and you know stick it somewhere very prominent or i can write similarly an email to myself 
from that company sort of a fake email again only for my own eyes i'm not going to show it to anybody i'm not going to use it in any other way just for the law of attraction just for my own eyes i stick that somewhere prominent and so every time i see it i feel really happy and it sort of brings me in that state of actually having received that letter and i have done this so many times and i feel absolutely wonderful i feel so delighted and you know i try to ignore the fact that i made it you know i i forget about that i just say hey this letter i have received it and then i close my eyes and i imagine actually receiving the letter how i would feel and that letter really evokes the feelings of actually having received that letter and having received that position having received that uh, whatever it was that i'm hoping for through that letter right and these two tools that we just talked about they have helped me so much i have used it so many times the check you know that the check from the universe that you make out to yourself and a letter that you are expecting so before you receive that letter you make a letter and you assume that it is the letter that you have received and you you know send out signals into the universe from that point of view uh, these two techniques have had magical results for me and i would highly recommend you to really try them now the next technique that has really helped me a lot is drawing Uh, now i am the worst person at drawing that you will ever find okay i don't know how i even passed in those art classes at school you know my teachers were probably very compassionate towards me otherwise i would have failed okay i am very bad at drawing and yet i am saying that drawing has really worked for me in applying the law of attraction uh, we have talked extensively about writing in the past okay i have several videos about writing i will leave a link in the i button so you can go and watch that later on after you are done watching this video the thing about writing is that it works so beautifully and i have always said that it is such an extremely powerful process because when you write it is a prolonged thought you know i can complete thinking about uh, okay now i am making 1 million dollars a year i can come think about it i can visualize it all of that can end in a matter of 1 minute okay and after that 1 minute i won't know now what do i visualize now but when you are writing it is a prolonged thought you know if i have to even write that i'm making 1 million dollars in a year i'm having a very good lifestyle i'm doing this and that even that would take maybe 4 or 5 minutes okay and then if i go into a little bit of detail that is even more of a prolonged thought right and so that's why writing is so good and of course writing is also included in this video but now we are talking about drawing and drawing does the same thing you can be really bad at drawing it doesn't matter what the end result looks like what matters is what kind of mental framework is there within you while you are drawing it and so if you are trying to manifest a car draw that car you know and draw yourself inside that car it doesn't matter what you look like your intention is to draw the car not to draw yourself so please don't worry that with the law of attraction i'll start looking like what i've drawn myself to be that is not going to happen don't worry about that right so you draw the car and you say that this is my car and uh, on such and such date if you want to put a date you can put a date if not you can just write that this is my car i'm so happy to own it if you want to manifest a house draw a house if you want to manifest a holiday well draw a little bit of that holiday and i always used to be fascinated when i was a child i used to be fascinated by maps and i remember i used to draw maps of indian states all the time and the states whose maps i really like to draw i don't know why you know i was a child so i don't even know what i was thinking but the states whose maps i really loved to draw are the states that i'm visiting again and again and again you know i remember there's a place in hyderabad called char minar i don't know why but i was i mean it's a beautiful place i was really fascinated by char minar in my childhood i used to draw char minar all the time and right now i am in a position in my life where every couple of months i have to go to hyderabad right so i don't know maybe this had something to do with that right so when you draw you put in this prolonged thought and maybe sometimes when you are drawing if you are even a little bit good at drawing maybe you are drawing for maybe 30 minutes and then you decide hey i have that meeting so i'm going to that meeting and then you come back from that and you again start drawing so it is such a hugely prolonged thought that it is absolutely wonderful how powerful this process is so even if you suck at drawing you know start drawing and maybe you'll even get better at drawing so that's also another benefit of this now the next technique this is so common and so easy to implement that you know start doing that today uh, you can just stick some reminders for yourself on your wall somewhere very prominent so yesterday's success story if you're not checking out by the way the law of attraction success story videos that i am posting every day on this channel do check out that series one of the yesterday's success stories had this that this person had an affirmation that today is 1st january 2017 and i am working at 
XYZ company, you know, the company that he wanted to intend a job at. Now, affirming this and visualizing this is perfectly fine. But another thing that you can do is you can just print this out or you can write it and stick it three, four places around your house where it is prominent. And so every time you look at it and please make sure that it is in the present tense. OK, so if you're if you're trying to manifest a job, I am already working at XYZ company. It is absolutely wonderful. Something like that, you know, use your own words. Don't use my language, use your language. OK, and so you stick it somewhere prominent. And so every time you look at it, you are reminded about that goal and so that fills you with a little bit of encouragement and also because it is in the present tense you think that thought you read it you think that thought and you're reading it again and again and again because it is so many places at your house all the prominent places and so it does something to your mind because you are being exposed to that positive thought which is in the present tense in a prolonged manner and in a repetitive manner that does something right so do stick your goals and so this is something that i really recommend that you do now we come to the last technique and it is called visual cues it is somewhat similar to the previous technique the only difference is that in the previous one what you did was you stuck somewhere the goal but it was only text now what you can do is you can also place photos and images related to your goal right and so uh, in one of the previous success stories that we saw uh, this one person wanted to manifest $200 and what he did was he placed a photograph of many hundred dollar notes, many hundred dollar bills, uh, you know, this photograph. And what he realized was that later on he manifested $300 and what he said, what he wrote in that story, I think it was yesterday's story itself. And what he wrote was that because in that photograph there were many, not just one or two, but many hundred dollar bills. And that is why I think I manifested more than just $200, which was my intention in the first place. And so what you can do is you can find some photographs. Now there's the internet. Earlier people used to look in magazines and cut all of them out. Now all of that is not required. You know, you can just go on the internet, do an image search, find some good photographs, some, you know, really motivating, inspiring photographs, some photographs that fill you with life when you look at them because they are so close to your goal and your goal has been shown in such a, such a motivating way in that image. So print those photos out, stick it somewhere, use that as a vision board. You know, when you look at that, if you have time, just sit down for 30 seconds, one minute and really visualize being in that image. You know, that image may be of a resort. You may be trying to manifest a wonderful holiday. And so you look at that image and then you sit down and you visualize what it would feel like to be in that resort and enjoying that wonderful holiday. And I think it's an extremely powerful process, right? When you do that and when you do that consistently and when you do that repeatedly, it really creates a huge difference in your mind that image starts to feel really close to you and it starts to feel more and more real to you. And once that happens, once you start to feel that that image is very close to you, nothing can stop it from manifesting in your life. So that's all for this video. If you have any friends or family that are also applying the law of attraction, do share this video with them. Check out the I button for today's recommended videos. If you like this video, please hit the like button. Any comments or feedback, please use the comment section down below. Make sure that you subscribe to the channel and also hit the bell icon to be notified about my new videos. Absolutely a pleasure to talk to you in this video. I'll see you tomorrow with a new video. Bye-bye.